Hey everyone, La Chang here from Think Global Logistics, TGL. Today I'm going to bring you some education that I always get asked, especially for people overseas who's looking to sell their products here in Australia. And that is how do I get my products into Australia? How do I clear customs? And what does it all mean for my business when I don't have an Australian entity? So you could be an American company, a Chinese company, or any foreign company for that matter, and you want to get your products here in Australia and to be sold via a multitude of platforms such as Amazon or eBay or what have you. I'm gonna tell you the simplest way to get your products into the Australian market without any complicated company setups. So the quickest way to get your products into Australia is talk to a freight forwarder such as Think Global Logistics and let us know that you want to become a foreign importer of record. What that simply means is that you can just send your goods as usual, prepare the documents as you would with any shipment that you're sending to, and then when we get to the customer clearance stage, we will simply report your shipment to the Australian Customs Service where you are the importer of record, and that can get your goods into the Australian market. A lot of our customers today are foreign companies, which we help clear under that format, and then those products get delivered to the likes of Amazon or to our own warehouse, which we do drop shipping for. That is the simplest and quickest way to get to market. So there is a catch with this particular method of getting your goods into the country, and that is that you will not be able to reconcile or claim back any of the tax you pay on entry. The goods and services tax, also known as the value add tax in Europe and so forth, is 10% here in Australia, which means that your goods will be up for that tax. And if you were an Australian company, you will pay tax on entry of your goods, but when you on sell your goods to your final customer, you will be able to charge that tax back. And at the end of the quarter, you'll be able to reconcile what has come in and what you've paid out. And then if you've paid out more, you get to claim that back from the Australian government. But because you're a foreign entity, you will not be able to do that because you're not part of the Australian tax system. So that is the catch to be the foreign importer record to get your goods into Australia. Now, if you set up a shop, say, here in Australia, your products are selling like gangbusters. You want to start your own company? Great. You will, you will need a local Australian director for that. So that means employing the person and you know setting a proper entity. It's not difficult, okay? It's not difficult at all. Just speak to a qualified accountant. We can recommend some to you as well that can help you set up. And then that will get you into the Australian tax system, which will help you reconcile some of those regulatory payments that you would have paid out at entry for your products. I hope that is pretty clear and concise. For any questions, as always, please leave a comment or just ask us. We'll be happy to answer them for you. If you like this content and you want to see more, please like and subscribe. My name is La and I'm from Think Global Logistics. Thank you.